Hello, Facebook. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know what just happened um, to my live video. Um, I think it was just so many people coming on um, so quickly to where it was making glitches in the screen. If you are just now coming back on, please hit share and tag the same people. The devil is mad, but the word is going to get out on tonight. The devil is mad, but the word is going to get out on tonight. As you come on, honey, hit share, tag others, hit share, tag others, hit share and tag others. The internet is working fine, so I don't even know. What just happened? I truly believe it's just the enemy trying to come and snatch the word from you. Please tap in. Please, please, please. As you come back on, hit share and tag the same five people. Hit share and tag the same five people. Welcome to my page. If this is your first time on my page, um, my name is Evangelist Shakira McFadden. My page is a page used to uplift, to build, to motivate, to inspire, to show you you don't have to look like the normal Christian, to talk about God, to show you that you can have a background and still love God. You can wear big earrings, big eyes eyelashes, colorful hair, and still have a relationship with God. Don't let no one tell you that in the midst of your sin, don't let no one tell you that God doesn't love you. Don't let no one tell you that people that love God is supposed to have a certain look as you come on, please. I just was knocked off. As you come on, hit share and tag five people. You guys know I can't get started until I am released to um, in the spirit. So we're going to wait on Facebook to build me an audience again. Please be in obedience. Hit share and tag five people. Let's not be stingy with the word of God. Tonight's message is I've suffered in secret long enough. God, I surrender. It's so many of us suffering behind closed doors. It's so many of us suffering in the background without the people closest to us even knowing I've suffered in secret God I surrender I've suffered long enough God but God this time around I surrender before my life got interrupted I was talking about it's doctors it's lawyers it's pastors it's 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 celebrities that are battling things in secret that they can't even begin to talk about because people automatically expect them to be strong. Um, it's so many people battling things and suffering in secret, but they still got to go on a job every day and act like everything is OK when they're broken on the inside, when they're suffering eternally. So internally. So I real life. Want to be a blessing on tonight. I believe that God has a word for you. The one that's watching this video. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday nights at 10 p.m. I want to thank you guys for tuning into me, not being judgmental, not focus on the gold teeth, the eyelashes, the long fingernails, the tattoos or the piercings, but focus on the gift that God has planted inside of me for you guys. I want to thank you. So as I was, you know, preparing for the word on tonight, I, I'm telling you, I wrote down maybe five, six things that God gave me. I was all over the place. And I begin to say, God, just give me a word. Give me a word for your people on tonight. And he said, tonight's topic was I've suffered in secret long enough. God, I surrender. It's so many of you that have been suffering in secret. You lay next to your husband or your wife every night and they have no idea that you're suffering on the inside. You go out and club with your best friend all the time and you go out and twerk or you go out and hang out or you go to the malls and they have no idea that you're secretly suffering on the inside. You go on that job every day with your coffee, your Starbucks in your hand and you sit in front of the computer and do what you do best. Being the best that you can be on that job and your boss. Or your colleagues have no idea that you're suffering on the inside. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody ought to comment below. I've been suffering in secret. I've been suffering in secret. If you're just now tuning into my page, tonight's topic is I've suffered in secret long enough. God, I surrender. 
It's so many times that we walk around carrying on the inside of our heart or on the inside of our mind that very thing we don't want nobody to know about. Come on, I know I'm not the only one that suffered in secret. I've suffered in secret long enough, God. God, I surrender. You ought to comment below, God, I surrender. God, I surrender. God, I surrender. I'm talking about the kind of suffering where you're crying and snot is coming up out of your nose and, and your tears are just running and you're crying your eyelashes off and you're going through this thing in secret so you can't turn to the right of you and say, friend, help me out. You can't turn to the left of you and say, pastor, pray for me. You can't turn to the person next to you and say, baby, I need your help. I'm two seconds from giving up because you're suffering in secret. Somebody ought to comment below. It's been a secret for a long time now. It's been a, it's been a secret for a long time now. Today we are attacking that spirit for what it is. God, I've suffered in secret long enough. Tonight, God, I surrender. And as God began to deal with me, I said, God, allow everyone who's suffering in secret to tune in on tonight. Because after tonight, we got to give it to God. You got to let go and let God. Somebody ought to comment below. I need to let go and let you. God, I need to let go and let you. God, I need to let go and let you because I'm suffering. I'm talking about the type of suffering when your family don't know what you're going through. You can still go to all the fun game nights or you can still go to the family barbecues or you can still go to your ladies events or you can still get around your family and smile, have a cup of Hennessy and Coke, can I be real? Or a cup of Patron and lime juice, can I be real for you? Or sip on your Moscato, baby, and act like everything is okay. Playing dominoes and cards, come on somebody. I'm from the hood, I understand. Can I just be real with you? On to Tonight, you can sit around everybody who got the same last name as you. You can sit around everybody who on the same page as you. You can sit around everybody who has known you all their life. Come on, somebody. The same person you go to the fish fries at the family reunion with. The same person, Rabba Soteke, you sit next to in the funeral with. When watch this, somebody die in your family and they don't even realize. You've been suffering in secret. Tonight's topic is, God, I've suffered in secret long enough, Lord, I surrender. I need somebody to comment below. You talking about me. You talking about me. You, you talking about me. Don't worry about the numbers on your screen tonight. Don't know. Don't worry about who's watching on tonight. But say, God, I surrender because you're talking about me. My, 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 Jesus. I don't know who's placing the crying emojis on the side, but God is dealing with you even as you do that boldly. God, I've suffered in secret long enough. I'm, I'm talking about the type of suffering when your friends don't have a clue. Your besties, your homegirls, your homeboys. People you tell all your business to, what you're going through in your marriage and People you tell all your business to, uh, 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 how he cheated on you. And people you tell all your business to, come on, somebody. The person you can sit on the phone with for hours and just talk about what God did for you. The person you can sit on the phone with for hours and talk about how good his sex was. You can talk to them about everything else, but God, this thing that I'm battling in secret, almighty oh God, God, this thing that I'm suffering with, this thing I can't open up my mouth and say, bestie, this is what I've been really going through, bestie. You don't understand what I'm battling, bestie. The very thing you've struggled with and battled and suffered with in private. God said, I want it. Just surrender it all to me, daughter. Surrender it all to me, son. My, 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 Jesus, I feel your presence already, God. He said the very thing you've suffered with the most, we're going we gonna to take our time on tonight because I, I truly feel like it's behind your tears. You'll get your deliverance, baby. I don't know if you're watching my video from your job. 
You might be watching my video from that 24 hour laundromat. You might be watching my video from your car. On your bed, you just finished crying about the same thing you've been suffering with for years. God, I've suffered in secret long enough. God, I surrender. I thank you for all the seeds that are being sown already to my cash app, my PayPal, my Zelle and Chime. These are people who are suffering and saying, God, I'm planting a seed because I want to surrender. I tell people, do not, I repeat, do not sow into my ministry unless you believe in what I'm speaking out of my heart. Unless you believe in God to manifest that thing in prayer. A lot of ministers won't tell you that because they want the money, not me, baby. Don't give your last unless you're believing God to do it for you. I've suffered in secret long enough. God, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. God, I, I'm talking about that thing you're suffering with because even as church people, right? We walk in the church and we smile. We act as if everything is okay. The very thing we're afraid to take to the altar. The very thing we're afraid to say, Pastor, I'm battling this thing again. Pastor, I'm, I'm suffering with this thing because church people like to act like they got it all together. Because when they wear their big church hats and tilt to the right and look all cute with their scarves and they matching high heels or their three-piece suits, they don't like to act like they suffering. In the church because they speak in tongues. I'm talking about that very thing. That you're suffering with. That you can't even go to the pastor about. God I've suffered in secret long enough God. You know I looked up the word suffered in. I, 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 I had to look for a definition of that thing. To really like. Give me more insight on what God was saying when he said the people of God are suffering and secret evangelists. I look up the word suffered and it said to feel pain for something unpleasant. So right then and there, the two words that stuck out to me was suffer and pain. If you're if you're I'm sorry, people of God, people are calling in. If you're suffering something in secret. It's going to cause a little pain. The question is, when you're going through that pain, right, all by yourself, when you're going through that suffering all by yourself, what do you plan to do? Do you plan to throw in the towel? Do you plan to give up? Some people in the midst of their suffering, you can be right next to somebody that's suffering and have no idea. Some people in the midst of their suffering, they tend to put a gun to their head and blow their brains out. Some people in the midst of their suffering, they tend to slit their wrists over and over. Some people in the midst of that pain, they tend to pop bills over and over again. Suffering in secret. There's so many people um, since I've been counseling and different things like that, that said they, they, they had no idea. You understand? No idea. Hallelujah, Jesus. No idea that their, their husband who committed suicide or their child. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just felt that in my spirit. Talk to your children. Make sure they're mentally okay. I remember when my husband was doing time in prison. My daughter Diamond, she began to speak in uh, tongues at eight, nine years old. And... I remember going in her room when she went to school one day and I looked at something she wrote down at nine years old. And she was saying, I'm so sorry, God, I'm so tired of this black dog with red eyes coming to attack me every night. I want to kill myself. While I was in the other room speaking in tongues, while I was out feeding the homeless, while I was out uplifting and encouraging other people, my own child was battling suicide. Talk to your children, people. Make sure they're mentally okay. The very thing you've suffered in secret, God said, surrender it. 
when people suffer, they channel their energy different ways and they, they deal with it different ways. But on tonight, I need somebody to just comment below. I'm suffering. I'm suffering. I'm not worrying about the number of people that's on to, on this live on tonight. Evangelist, I needed this. I need to just let somebody know because I've been battling this thing in secret that I'm suffering. Whatever you're suffering about, just comment below. I'm suffering. Come on, somebody. When you're suffering, it ain't going to feel good. When you're, when you're suffering, it's going to be very painful. The worst thing you can do is suffer in secret. Because it's when the enemy got you all to yourself, he can mentally play these mind games on you. Nobody loves you. You don't have a purpose here in life that pushes you to suicide. I know what I'm talking about. I've been there. I looked up the word secret and it says not known or seen by others. You're suffering and people have no idea that you're, you're, you're going through it. You're, hurt, you're, 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 you're hurting in private. I need some bold people on tonight that say, after, night to, after the night, God, I want to just give it to you. Just come in, oh, 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 down to the bottom. God, I, I really want to give this thing to you. God, I, I got to give this thing to you because I'm two seconds from losing my mind behind it. God, I got to give this thing to you. Somebody ought to comment below. God, I got to give it to you. God, I got I to gotta give it to you on tonight. I know you guys used to me coming on tonight and uplifting and encouraging. And I know you used to me screaming and shouting and building you up but I feel like it's so many hurting people out there that are hurting in secret suffering in secret going through it in secret and we're missing the mark for them so tonight God told me to just to, 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 to go inside your hearts and roots up uplift that thing that you're struggling with in private some of you are, are hurting in private by being beat on by a man. Come on. He treats you like a queen in public. But really the devil behind closed doors. He tell people how much he love you. He tell people how much he adore you. But he blacking your eyes. Spitting on you. Kicking you. I went there. I was there. I was getting beat on so much. Nobody knew it. He set the, 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 my, my apartment on fire with me in it, man. I know what abuse is. I was pregnant being kicked in my side. I got my behind whooped just for catching him cheating, man. I need somebody to just comment below since I can relate, since I can relate. I was struggling behind closed doors. Going to work at the pawn shop every day. Smiling. Because I still had to pay my bills, but I was suffering in secret. Nobody on my job had a clue. Sis, I understand. That's all I want you to comment below. I'm dealing with on tonight people that have struggled in secret. Come on, somebody. It's so easy to act like you got it all together because you want to make it like you got it all together for people that are watching. But you're struggling behind closed doors. Or maybe he not, maybe he not treating you like a queen in public and beating on you behind closed doors. Maybe he not buying you whatever you want and paying all your bills. But not coming home at night. Being with Keisha and Felicia and Tamika and, and Sade and and everybody else. Maybe that's what you're suffering in the background. And people think just because he bought you that Benz. Or just because he just copped you that new house. Or just because he put you in designer purses. That your life is all it's, it's, it's kept up to be. But you're suffering in secret. Come on somebody. I need you to just boldly say today, God, I surrender. Just comment below, God, I surrender. God, I surrender. You may be aching undercover. Come on, somebody. You may be aching undercover because you went for living the, 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 the fancy lifestyle, driving the nicest cars, but financially you don't got it no more. 
So you went from living in a nice place, had it all fixed up, but now you sleeping on somebody's couch with your kids. Or now you laying on a blow up bed. It embarrassed you just to have to stand in the Walmart line to purchase that blow up bed. Suffering financially in private. Went from driving nice cars to waiting at the bus stop. Suffering financially in private. God, I've suffered long enough. I surrender it. I need somebody to just comment below. I'm surrendering, God. I'm surrendering my finances. I'm, I'm surrendering my finances. Just some people on tonight that's not afraid to say, I ain't got it the way I used to. Who, Holy Ghost, I feel that. Because even as you begin to type, God, I'm surrendering my finances. Angels are being dispatched your way. I've suffered in secret long enough, God. I surrender. Maybe, maybe you're, you're putting up with that addiction that you've been keeping on the hush hush. I know what it's like to use drugs. I don't tell people not to use drugs just because, you know, it's just something bad and you shouldn't do it. I tell people things that I've been through myself. So maybe you're putting up with that addiction in secret that you've been keeping on the hush hush. You, you suffering with giving that thing up. Because you're afraid, come on somebody, for people to know you're battling with it. You're afraid for people to know what you're really going through at home. So you're keeping that addiction and you're suffering with it in private. You're suffering with it in secret. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whether it's cocaine, whether it's, whether it's Percocet, whether it's, whether it's Molly, whether it's heroin, whether it's crack. You battling with that addiction behind closed doors. And nobody have no idea that you're going through it. You want to stop. But every time you want to stop, you're thinking about how you were raped or molested. For a long time, I was like messed up mentally. Because I was raped, you know, a few times in my life. I was, I was confused about God, okay. I'm mentally suffering because it's not common for your brother to take your virginity. So I was going to school and you, you see little girls who were my friends, they big brothers was picking them up, taking them to the ice cream truck or taking them to the little candy store, the little storehouse after school. Or their big brothers was fighting for them. You know what I'm saying? When people would bother them in school while mine was raping me while I was a child. I suffered for that thing, with that thing for a while. They didn't know what I was going through. Or the time when I was raped and he had on a scully. And I still to this day suffer with that. Because I don't want nobody wearing a scully around me. Every time my husband buy one, whether it's for fashion or not, he knows. You cannot wear that around me. It opens up portals. That very thing that I gave up, uh, I, I thought I surrendered to God that I suffer it. Every time I see a person in a scully, it just brings it back from the back of my mind to the front of my head. Or being raped on a car porch. Being raped outside my father's house. Yeah. Because you don't want a person no more. Being raped. And then going and sitting on a stool. And big clots coming out of you. And you thinking it's just from the rape. But you're really miscarrying. Robo I'm talking about that type of suffering. I want some people on tonight that say, I suffered it. I suffered it. Just, just don't be afraid to comment below. I suffered it. 
That was a reason I was using drugs. I'm talking about you want to let go of that secret addiction you're suffering with in private. But then you think about things. You think about how your mom and dad never loved you or why they gave you up for adoption or why you had to be living house to house or why they weren't there to protect you or why were, why why your Rabba Sotebashi. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about that suffering that keep you smoking. That cocaine or snouting that cocaine or popping those pills. God, I've suffered in secret long enough. I'm surrendering this thing to you, God. I thank you for all the seeds being sown to my cash app, my PayPal and Zelle. I thank you. I thank you. The information is to the bottom. God, I've, I've suffered long enough. So I feel like if you're sowing a seed on tonight, it should be God. I'm sowing it because I'm surrendering it to you from evangelist mouth. God, to your ears, I'm surrendering it to you on tonight. Some of you have endured hitting agony by having to belittle yourself. Sleeping with a man for, for, for huggies and, you know, pamper money. Come on, somebody. You've had to belittle yourself. Sleeping with a man for a pack of cigarettes or a happy meal. Can I just keep it, can, can I just keep it real? You financially don't got it. And afraid to tell people you don't got it. So you lay on your back for a happy meal. I've seen women do it, man. I'm from the hood. A five dollar happy meal made you feel like you was in love, man. I'm talking to my people who can relate. Or because you got that nicotine addiction so heavy, I'm going to sleep with him for a pack of Newports, man. I'm serious. People battle that. Come on, somebody. Or you lay on your back with him because he bought you a new Chanel bag, man. You carrying around a $500 purse and only got $5 to your name. Can I just preach to somebody for a moment? That thing you're suffering with in the background, you don't want your friends to know you ain't got it like them. So you lay on your back, belittling yourself, suffering in secret. Somebody ought to comment below. The secret's out. The secret's out. I can't hold this thing in anymore. The secret's out. God, I'm surrendering it and I'm giving it to you, God. The secret's out. The secret's out. Rabba so tebeke shiyama. Come on, somebody. Sleeping with people for a new lace wig. Rabba so tebo. Rebeke shiyama mama so teke. I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight. But God said you got to surrender it. You got to you got to give it all up on tonight. You got to say, God, I'm giving you it all. Someone is miserable and haven't made it public about their mental battles. You afraid to let your friends know you losing your mind because you're struggling with the fact that you're not pretty enough. Maybe you feel like your your body just just isn't what men want. Or you're mentally battling and going back and forth still about your child's death. Your child been died from, you know, a, a suicide or being shot or a car crash or uh, 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 health issues. Or, or, or maybe you carried a, a, a child for nine months and had the baby and it didn't make it. And it still mentally got you messed up. So you're suffering on the inside when uh, you, you, you woo the rest in peace t-shirt and you threw your, your last flower as they rolled that child six feet down. And it's been years and it's been months, but people have no idea. You still watch this go in the room where that child slept at, asking God why. They have no idea that you're still crying. Carrying around the smell of their clothes. You've never washed it. They have no idea that you're still asking God on your knees. Why? Some of you are still crying from the fact that the very time, the one time you got pregnant, you lost that child and haven't got pregnant again. Suffering in private. Come on. 
You ought to comment below. God, I'm giving it to you tonight. God, I'm, I'm giving that thing to you tonight. God, I'm giving that thing to you tonight. God, I've suffered in secret long enough. God, I surrender. I want to see the hand emojis below. Just give me some hand emojis like you surrendering it over to God on tonight. God said, just give it to me tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just give it to me. Just, just, just give me all of it because we can sometimes give God partial of it. But I need some people on tonight that say, God, I'm completely giving it to you. That thing I'm ashamed of, God, that thing I'm struggling to speak about. Baby, God got you. He said, daughter, tell him I, 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 I got him. I'm seeing the hand emojis of surrenderance. He said, he said, he said, tell him I got him. God said for me to tell you your suffering was a sacrifice and you didn't even know it. I just uploaded your next uh, Facebook status. Make sure you tag me in it. My suffering was a sacrifice and I didn't even know it. I had to suffer. I had to, to experience pain because it was a it was a sacrifice to God for him to move on my behalf. He said, you the one that's watching this video, your suffering was a sacrifice and you didn't even know it. He said it was your tears. That drew him to your prayer. Somebody ought to comment below. I'm not afraid to cry. I'm not afraid to cry. I'm not afraid to cry because God said your tears is what drew his ears to your prayers. Tears are just silent prayers. Come on, somebody. Your suffering was your sacrifice. Somebody ought to comment below. My tears were silent prayers. My tears were silent prayers. My tears were silent prayers. God said it's in your suffering that you got to completely surrender it all. You the one that's watching this video. Enough crying, sis. Enough crying, bro. And you know what? Let me tell you. It's something about when a man cry. It's something about when a man cry. It's something about when a man cry. That God can move. It's something about when a man cry. Hallelujah, Jesus. A lot of you are going through so much and people close to you have no idea because everyone expect you to be strong. I need somebody to comment below. They, they, they expect me to be strong. They expect me to be strong. Some of you are the glue to your family. Some of you, if God took you off this earth the day your family was separated. Some of you, if God took you out of the, out of the people who you're helping life, they will, they will crash. They will crash. Because everyone depending on you. And God said even strong people need to be lifted up. Somebody ought to comment below. God, lift me up. God, just lift me up on tonight. God, lift me up. God, lift me up. God, they expect me to be strong, but I'm suffering in secret. God, lift me up. I need somebody who can type that thing in capital letters. God, just lift me up. I don't care right now if you're in. Come on, somebody. If you're in Wendy's drive through just take a moment to comment. God, lift me up. I don't care right now if you're, you're you're, you're in the bathroom. I thank you for that big seed someone just sold through Zelle. I can't see anything, but I'm praying God lift you up every person that has sold a seed. Every person who don't have it to sow, God lift you up and strengthen you right now. You've been strong for everybody else but yourself. I'm praying that God lift you up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, just lift them up. You the, every, you, you the one that everybody got to go to when they're struggling. You're the one that everybody go to for advice. God, lift me up. Mighty God. And God said for me to tell you. That he will lift you up. He said it's, he said it's, he said it's, it's your time. Hallelujah. I'm just opening my iPad because I want to give you the scripture God gave me. He said he'll lift you up. 
I'm going to read 1 Peter 5, 10 and 11. It said, let me send this. Let me, let me show you, you this first. Somebody ought to screenshot this scripture real quick before I begin to read it. Just screenshot it before I begin to read it. 1 Peter 5, 10 and 11. Just screenshot it before I begin to read it. 1 Peter 5, verse 10 through 11. I'm reading from the Message Bible says, keep a cool head. Stay alert. The devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping. The devil want to catch you suffering in secret. He want to catch you slipping. It said the devil would like nothing better than to catch you napping. Keep your guard up. You're not the only one who plunged into these hard times. It's the same with Christians all over the world. So keep a firm grip on faith. The suffering won't last forever. God said it'll lift you up. He said it won't be long before the generous God who has great plans for you in Christ and your eternal glory will have you put together and on your feet again. It said he gets the last word. Yes, he does. So I want to say to you right now that God will lift Lift you up in spite of. It said he'll place you back up on your feet. It said he gonna put you back together again. After you've suffered in secret. Because your suffering was a sacrifice. Even Humpty Dumpty. When he fell off the wall. And got a great fall and shattered right. It said all the king horses. And all the king men. Couldn't put Humpty get together again. Your best friend won't be able to help you. With this kind of suffering. The pastor won't be able to help you with this kind of suffering. Evangelist Shakira won't be able to help you with this kind of suffering. It will be nobody but God that can put you back together again. God said, surrender it all. Hallelujah, Jesus. God said, surrender it, it all. He said, what you're battling in secret. The very thing you need to bounce back from, God said, only I can do it. Somebody ought to comment below, then God do it. Then God do it. If you're saying only I can do it, then God do it. Just comment that thing below. God do it. Then God do it. Then God do it. Come on, people of God. God said joy comes in the morning in Romans 5, 3 and 5. He said joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let me go to that. I want to read that for you on tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Rabba. Sotebeke. Shiyama mama ma soteke. Hold on. I'm, I, I want to pull that scripture up for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Romans 3 and 5 says, not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance. And endurance produces character and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has poured into our hearts. He's going to do it. Joy comes in the morning. He's come to do it. He's going to do it. God said, stop holding on to it. He said, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Stop holding on to it. Give it to me. Give it to me. God said, Give it to me. I tell my people in my counseling sessions, I need someone to just text below. Just comment below. Text 754-246-0580. If you're interested in counseling, my sessions and my fees, text 754-246-0580. And in these counseling sessions, we like, we real life get so deep. And I, I realize that people have suffered some things 30, 40 years that they're holding on to, that they haven't completely surrendered and given it to God because they thought that as they got older, watch this, as they got older, that they were delivered from it. And that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. So, you know, I, 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 I thank God for the counseling sessions. I do. Thank you guys who's putting the information to the bottom. You text 
about counseling. And I'll send you the info. I, I said, text, you're calling. Don't call, please. I'm on live still. Text, text, text. Tonight's topic was, I've suffered in secret long enough, God, I surrender. If you feel like you surrender long enough, let's do something a little different. It might be somebody on this live right now that haven't, you know, went to church. Say, I don't want to go to church. The church people too messy. They judgmental. I'm suffering with this thing I'm going through. But, but God, I need you. I want a personal relationship with you. I want to take this time to do an altar call right now. Wherever you are right now, if you just want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, wherever you are right now, I want you to just from your own home, just repeat after me and say, God, I'm not perfect. God, I'm not perfect. I may never step into a church, God. God, I'm not perfect. But I want to give you this thing I'm suffering with. Hallelujah, Jesus. I can feel you repeating it. The angels are already rejoicing. I want you to say, Jesus, I accept you in my heart. Just repeat after me. I accept you in my heart, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. And I completely give myself to you. I want you to say, God, I, I don't know what you're going to do from this moment forth. I don't know if as while I'm saying this, I'm supposed to feel something. But God, I want you. God, I'm not saying I'm going to stop sinning right away because I'm a work in progress. But God, I want you to hold my hand along the way and help me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help me to stop doing the things I don't want to do anymore. And I want you to end it in Jesus name. Amen. If you just repeated that after me, you just accepted the Lord as your savior. He can move in your life now. He can deal with the mental attacks and the emotional roller coaster that you're on at times. He can, he can help you with that toxic thing that you battle and suffer with in secret. If you're somebody who just received Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to comment below. I just received Christ. I just received Christ because I want to rejoice with you right now in the name of Jesus. Just comment below. I just received Christ. I just received Christ. And I didn't do it from a church. I didn't, I didn't do it, do it from a, 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 a pulpit. I, 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 I didn't do it from, from this and that. But I, I just received Christ. I just want you to comment that thing below. I just received Christ. I just received Christ so we can rejoice with you. You weren't, you weren't, thank you. Congratulations, Monique Lynette for receiving Christ. Congratulations, Leticia Gro uh, Groover. Hallelujah, Christina Atkins. Congratulations, congratulations. God is gonna move like never before for you now. Shantae Gray, congratulations. Congratulations, Chanel Grant for receiving Christ. Congratulations, you guys. Congratulations, Tamika Jackson. Hallelujah, the angels are rejoicing. The people of God who are already in Christ, just go ahead and comment below. Congratulations. We got to learn to celebrate other people. Congratulations, Dejanay, for receiving Christ. Congratulations, Jacqueline Sade. Hallelujah, Jesus. Last night, I let a few people. I want you to go back if you didn't watch my live last night. I want you to go back and watch it. It's still saved on my page. It's going to really bless you at the end. I bought on maybe two or three people um, that wanted to worship God. So I want to open my platform to do it again. Congratulations, Tiffany Singler, for receiving Christ. Um, If you are a person that loves to worship and want to get on right now just to worship God for a little bit, 
to help us just worship God before we get off of our live on tonight. If that's you, I want you to just comment below. I'll take us out and worship. I'll take us out and worship. I'll take us out and worship. It was so beautiful. It was two women last night who came on and worshiped God. And then it was a man. And I mean, he got gold teeth. He just blessed me. The way he worshiped God, then he began to stop and say, man, thank you, God. I want you to just comment below and I'm going to bring you on live. You must have headphones. Because if you don't have headphones to plug in, it's going to static. I need somebody to comment below. I would love to take us out and worship. Just comment below. I love to take us out and worship. But you must have, you must have, you must have headphones. I'm going to bring you on right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Nina Morehouse. I'm going to bring you on right now for your husband to worship with us. Nina Morehouse, for him to worship for us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Make sure you have headphones. Come on, come on. Thank you to all the people who are staying on. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm going to give him a little bit. If he don't come on, I'm going to bring somebody else on. Okay. They declined it. Please don't come in unless it's something you want to do. Make sure you have headphones. Someone who can worship and take us into worship before I close out. Just comment below. I can take us into worship. I can take us into worship. I need somebody who's not afraid. Congratulations, Keisha Flanagan, for receiving Christ. Okay, I'm going to bring you on, Lakeisha McQueen. I'm bringing you on right now. Lakeisha McQueen, Lakeisha McQueen. Come on, on. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, all you got to do is just to prove it. I'm going to give up a few more seconds. I need somebody. I need somebody who can take us into worship. A giant Burrell. I'm going to bring you on right now. A giant Burrell. Can you take us into worship? You got to make sure you have on your button where I can add you. Sergeant A. Drummond, I need you to turn on the button where I can add you. I see you coming in, but it's not giving me the option to add you. Come on, come on. People of God, come on, come on, come on. I need somebody who's unafraid to worship on tonight. I'm adding you guys, but you're not coming on. All you got to do is hit a set. All you got to do is hit a set. Nina Morehouse, I'm bringing you on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hello. How are Hello, you? How you doing? <clears throat> how you doing, Miss Evangelist? This is I'm a great man of God. Can you lower the phone so we can see you a little bit? That's perfect. Ah, oh, I'm yes. loving it. You got gold teeth too. That's yes, what I'm talking yes, about. Yes. God it's nothing but thing. God. Nothing but God. Yes, man of God. If you can take us into worship. Yes, I uh, like to uh, <clears throat> everybody bow your heads. Uh, God, we come to you as humble as we know. We like to thank you for waking everybody up this morning. We like to thank you for giving this word today from this evangelist. We ask that everybody take this word and 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 do what they do best with it. Just like she said, we are all suffering in silence. This is a word that she came out that God gave her and she blessed us with this tonight. God, I just like to thank you for everything you've done for everybody, everything you, you will Lord. do and everything you continue you to do jesus yes. i ask that you continue to bless the world we yes. ask we, we we ask that you take this COVID and 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 bless these and bless everything that's just that has to do with it jesus we ask yes. that you take georgia you bring us georgia we bring this house bring us the senate jesus we ask that you just bless the world entirely jesus we just yes. thank you for this word evangelist tonight we thank you jesus uh, for my wife i thank you jesus for everything and jesus i just give you everything turn everything yes. over to you jesus yes. in your name we pray amen. amen hallelujah thank you man of god thank you thank you hallelujah 
He came on with prayer. We're going to take that. But now I'm looking for a worshiper. I need somebody to just comment below. I'll take us into worship. I'm, le I'm looking for somebody who can sing to God right now. Sing whatever God has placed on your heart and take us into worship. Man of God, thank you for that awesome prayer. I'm looking for somebody. Just comment below. I want to sing to God and I'm going to bring you on. You must have headphones. God will lead you what to sing and what to say. Just comment below. I want to sing to God. I want to sing to God. I want to sing to God. Somebody who can take us out and worship. I want to sing to God. I want to sing to God. Just put, I want to sing to God. You must have headphones. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to stay on for about another three to five minutes. I need somebody to take us out and worship. I want to sing to God. Where my worshiper at, at my choir members? I'm going to bring you on, Nichelle Paris. I'm bringing you on. I'm looking for worshipers. Worshipers, I want to sing. God, why are you beautiful? Hallelujah. Hi, how you doing? Woman Thank of God, you, if Lord. you could just let God use you right now for a, a few minutes, just go ahead. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. Yes, God. Oh, 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 yes, God. Oh, 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 oh. thank you, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, to worship you, we live. Yes, God. To worship you, we live, we live to worship you. We yes, surrender God. all. We surrender all. We surrender all. Yes, we God. surrender all. We Thank worship you, you right now. We give yes, it all to you. We surrender, we surrender every hurt and pain. Yes, God. Every hurt and pain. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Every we surrender. Hallelujah. God. We surrender to you. Thank you so much. We surrender. Thank to you, you so much, woman of God. Thank you so much, woman of God. Thank you so much. I thank you for your worship, woman of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your worship. Listen, people of God, that's what I'm looking for. You've seen our tears. They were serene. They, 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 were, they, were, they were sincere. I'm looking for people who say, God, I want to sing to you on tonight. I don't know these people that's coming on. Just, just saying, God, I surrender it all to you. She put her own spin on it. Just comment below. I want to sing to God tonight. I want to sing to God tonight. If you have headphones in your ear and you want to sing to God on tonight, I just want to bring you on just for a few moments, a few minutes. Come on, come on. Just comment below. I want to sing to God. If you have headphones and you're ready right now to worship God. Just comment below. I want to sing to God. I want to sing to God. She said, hallelujah. I'm bringing you on, princess. Princess Tally, I'm bringing you on. Come on, woman of God. Come on and take us into worship. Take us into worship. Hallelujah. How are you? Do you have Can you plug me in? Woman of God, get you some headphones. Princess Tally. Hallelujah. Come on, baby, you got to get some headphones. Brianna. Brianna Jones, I want to bring you on, but it's, it's not giving me the option to bring you on. Latoya Foster, I'm bringing you on. Come on, beautiful. Help us to worship God. Latoya Foster. Latoya Foster, come on. Okay. 
They're coming in, but they don't want to come on. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm going to try one more person, one more person. Just comment below. I want to sing to God. You got to have headphones. Yes, you got to have headphones because it breaks up. Come on, just one more person before we go on tonight. Tanisha Anderson, I'm bringing you on, beautiful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. How are hey. you, beautiful? Good. Can you put the camera down so we can't see you? There you go. Can, oh. you, just take, can you just take us into worship, beautiful? Okay. <clears throat> Change me, oh God. Jesus. Make me more like you. My Tika. Change me, oh God. Ooh. Wash me through and through. Yes, Lord. Recreate in me a clean heart. Ooh, Jesus. So that I may worship, worship mm. you. Come I on, need you to change me. Yes, come on. Mm, Jesus, change me. Mm. Whatever's mm. unlike you, Lord, I need you to. Mm, Jesus, change me. Yes, God. Mighty God, woman of God, I thank you for that worship. Mighty God, mighty God. Oh my God. They did they 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 uh hallelujah Jesus. They both of them, both of them have took us into worship. One more, Gloria Simon, Gloria Simon, I'm bringing you on. Gloria Simon, I'm bringing you on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Use your worship on tonight. You don't know who you're blessing. I'm bringing you on. I'm bringing you on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. All you got to do is hit approve. It's real simple. Hallelujah. You must have headphones. Hallelujah. That was beautiful. Mighty God. Mighty God. My, Brianna, I want to bring you on, dear, but it's not giving me the... The option to bring you on. Just comment below. I want to sing to God. I want to sing to God. I want some people who worship God daily to come on and just bless us on tonight. I want to I want to sing to God. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to sing to God. I want to sing to God. Princess Tally, I'm going to try you again. Okay. Quisha Robertson, Quisha Robertson, I'm bringing you in. Hallelujah, Jesus. Quisha Robertson, all you got to do is hit approve. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. How are you, beautiful? All right, I'm doing good. It's a little dark in here because I was laying down, but my mother called me. She said, she's on live saying somebody needs to mm -hmm. sing. I need you. Thank you, Mama. I need you to turn on them lights. <laughs> Yay! I Look, I don't have on any. I don't have on any clothes, but I wanted to praise God. You know, it's cold down here. I'm trying to say okay. warm, but I'm gonna sing a little bit. And yep, it's gonna start. Just, Give me you. you. Everything else can wait. You better sing. Give me you. A home I'm not to lay. Lord, give me you. Yes. Lord, give me you. Jesus. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Yes. It's me, oh Lord. I'm on my knees. Yes. Do you? I hate That's I sound good. a little bad, but I just thank God for you putting me on tonight. My family yes. has been going through a lot. Just continue to pray. Our strength in the yes. Lord is the Porter family. Thank you. Yes. May God bless the Porter family. Mama, where you at? Thank you for bringing your daughter on.
tune with that beautiful voice. We'll keep you guys covered in prayer. Um, everybody's going through right now. Everybody's suffering, but God is making a way out of no way. And I just thank God, you know, for all of you guys and your beautiful voices and worship your way out of whatever you're going through. Come on, come on, come on. Just one more person on tonight. And I'm, I promise you that's it. Just one more person. Regina Crosby, Regina Crosby. I'm bringing you on. Regina Crosby, Regina Crosby. The last person before I go, Regina Crosby. How are you? I can't hear you. Are you plugged in? You got to plug, beautiful. I can't hear you. Tonight's topic, a lot of people have fell off the live, but it was thousands of people on. I thank God for you. Tonight's topic was, um, Lord, I've suffered in secret long enough. God, I surrender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to sing. Let me see. I see somebody. Cara Jones. Cara Jones. I'm bringing you on. Cara Jones. All you got to do is hit approve and, and, and accept it. Make sure you have headphones. Okay, she declined. I need some people who who not afraid. Please don't comment. Please don't comment. Unless you're ready. Unless you're ready. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just comment below. I want to sing. I want to sing to God. I want to sing to God. I'm just looking for one more person on tonight. I'm opening up my platform to you. Just one more person on tonight. No, no, sir, Mr. Shields. You will not be singing. <laughs> Just one more person on tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One more person. Just comment below. I want to sing. Brianna Jones, I'm going to bring you on. Hallelujah. How are you, beautiful? Fine. <laughs> I'm waiting on you to, to take us to worship. <laughs> No weapon formed against me. You better say, honey. Shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon. Woman of God. 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 If you would just, if you would just raise your hands right where you are. <laughs> believing the very thing that you're singing you don't believe that there's no weapon against you god said not a devil in hell he said you woman of god robo he said he's bringing you out of that dry place in secret, woman of God. He said, because you boldly brought it before him on tonight, that he's instantly, woman of God, instantly, within a snap of your fingers, he's doing it, that joy. He said, as you sing that song, he wants you to believe what you're singing. Because you don't believe that there's no weapon <laughs> that has formed against you, it won't prosper because you're being hit back to back in this season. <laughs> he said he's restoring the very things you've lost. Thank you, Jesus. He said, not just your finances, woman of God, you've lost your joy. <laughs> you've lost your sound mind, your, your sound mind, you've lost your identity. I dispatch angels to meet you exactly where you are, woman of God. To restore your joy. To restore your joy. To restore everything you've lost. Under the sound of my voice. I pour everything into your future. That is shipping, shipping. Every <laughs> weapon that has formed, instantly God is changing it. 
Jesus, woman of God, I need you to honor and unapologetically scream hallelujah to the top of my Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's scream it to the top of your lungs.
Tonight's live was I've suffered in secret. God, I surrender. That's what surrenderance look like. Not worrying about how many people on this live tonight. That's what surrenderance look like. If this message has blessed you, I got placed my information to the bottom. Be led to so cash app. Junk for Girls, J-U-N-K, the number four girls, G-I-R-L-Z. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two N's at AOL.com. And Cash App, and, I mean, Chime and Zelle is 754-246-0580. Everyone who has messaged me for counseling, I'm going to text back now. Text 754 -246 -0580 for my counseling sessions. I've been doing so many, I have to put up everyone's um, video reviews and everything. I thank God for you all. Meet me here tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern time. This, this Facebook page here, you are gonna see realness. Ain't no playing church. You are gonna see real people going through real things. Ain't no playing church. Unapologetically me, this the gift I ask God for. Use me as an evangelist to help bring out deliverance, to help the ones forgotten about. Realize that God loved them in spite of. God bless you guys. We love you guys. See you tomorrow night at 10 p.m.